Hey there. Today, we're going to talk about the concept of combining two different fields together in your Zoho CRM. So there are some things you can do out there. There's some formula fields, that sort of thing, but none of them quite do exactly what most people are looking for. And so we're going to address that today. We're going to show you the solution, how you can do it in under five minutes. We're going to do it on this video and it's just going to save you a ton of time. It's going to avoid having to go to developers, all that sort of stuff. So the very common example we see and the one we're going to talk about today is a deal name. So a lot of times you want to have the deal name to be very descriptive. So when it shows up in a report, list view, Kanban, wherever that name is, is, you kind of know what's going on. And so we want to describe it based on some of the parameters of the deal. So let's take a look at a sample deal that we have here. This is Tom's test deal. And as I'm going through it, you can see it's just Tom's test deal. It's the name, not super descriptive. And actually it's not even that accurate because it looks like the client has been changed from Tom to test tester. So probably something needs to be updated there. So in my name, what I want to do is I want to call it always dynamic based on the client's name. So I want it to say tests. And then I just want, I don't want to just call it deal. I want to call it upsell deal, right? So I can combined parameters on the deal itself, bring them together and create a very good descriptive deal name. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a workflow, right? So this is something that probably, you know, a lot of people watching this video are very familiar with, but you know, let's go through it. We'll make it pretty quick here. The key is that I always want to make sure that I'm modifying it. So I'm updating my deal name when one of those two things get changed. So, you know, the client name or the account type gets changed. Of course, I want my workflow to run and I want that to to update the actual deal name. So I said client name is modified to any value or the account type, that was the other field, is updated to any value and that looks good. I don't wanna do it to all deals because you know this is actually a live CRM so I wanna make sure that I'm, I'm only updating certain names, so a specific layout and actually also I'm gonna throw in, say that the deal name has to contain the word test. And that should work on this one because we can see test is there and so I feel a bit better about that. And so all this stuff already probably is pretty familiar for a lot of the people watching this, but the real trick is under custom actions here. This is really kind of what we're looking at, you know, the kind of the trick in all of this and what we're gonna use what's called an advanced field update. And so when I come in here, you can see, first of all, there's, you know, some things I might need to do to connect to it. So I'm gonna do that quick. So I've connected and if you're confused on what I did there, uh, you know, we're gonna have a separate video on that, but it's just basically connecting to the service here. Once we've connected, we're going to use what's called the advanced field update. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to say, okay, let's call it deal name. And then we're going to be dynamic about how we name it. So I'm not just going to say, you know, Tom, what was it? Tests upsell deal. That wouldn't make sense because it's going to work for this one, but no other one. So really the trick, and maybe some of you guys saw it, is using a merge tag. So this is very much so like the email template. I can basically come in here and say under the lookup client name, I want to put in the first name. So test and then apostrophe S tests. And then on the deal itself, I want the account type upsell and then deal. Right. And so now we have a much more dynamic name. It's based on parameters on the client and the deal, and it's going to automatically get generated. So let's hit save and say, I'm just going to call it update deal name, save and associate and save. So that's a live workflow. So let's get right into it. Let's just see what happens. Let's give it a go. So if you remember a condition on the workflow or sorry, a trigger on the workflow is that if either the account type or the client name has been updated. So let's try the account type. Let's just say, actually, no, this is a new deal now. So just by me doing that, it should have triggered the workflow. Let's refresh this page quick and see what happens. So I actually had to do something real quick here. I had to, um, you can see over in my workflow just to see why it looks a little bit different. I basically had to make sure that this was checked off. It wasn't before this little check mark. And so now it was checked off. So now the workflow did run. Yeah, I'll just cancel that. And what you can see at 1150, we did change it so from new to upsell that triggered this sample workflow that had this advanced field update and you can see dynamically my deal name was changed there <clears throat> from tom's test deal to tests upsell deal and so maybe oh now tom is back involved let's just see what that might look like so we're gonna say tom i think we have a tom testing and so again this should trigger that workflow because i said anytime the client or the account is updated it should trigger it let's see what what happens here so i'm gonna hit the refresh button again and yeah, sure enough, you, a little preview there, but Tom's upsell deal. Go to my timeline, you can see client was updated, this was triggered, and the deal name was updated. So it's all gonna be dynamic, it's always there. So if that's something that you're interested in 
using trying something for yourself. The way to do it is using this tool called the Workflow Enhancement Suite. We call it WES for short. Uh, very straightforward tool as you've kind of seen it throughout and you can actually do a lot more than we talked about. So, you know, going back and forth the uh, lookups and related lists and rolling up data. A lot of great stuff here. Talk about how to get started. It's all very easy, kind of step by step, click through. We have some reviews from top partners in North America and then how to get started. And we have a 10 day trial. So give that a try. If you have any questions at all, please leave it in the comments. Uh, and thanks so much for watching.